Hi and welcome to our tutorial for making a giant merino wool star. So what I have got today is a metal wire star frame. Okay, this one I just picked up from Hobbycraft and it's 45 centimetres um, at its widest point. There are other stars um, available. They are quite difficult to get hold of at the moment. Um, so it's worth having a look around. If you can't get a metal one, you could always use a wooden one. Um, but it's just I prefer the metal because it's stronger. Okay, so I've got my metal star and I've also got my giant jumbo merino yarn which if you've got one of the kits, you've got it in the kit. If you haven't, you can buy this. It's not cheap because it's luxurious merino um, and it's super soft, it's hypoallergenic, it's lovely to work with. And the color I'm using today is the Oyster, which is just a nice natural color. So what you want to do is you want to unravel your yarn, okay? And you want to have it left nice and loose in a pile. And I just keep it just here, just so it's above where I'm working, okay? In fact, I could bring this down a bit then. All right, so what we're going to do is we're basically, we're going to hand crochet all the way around. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a slip knot with my yarn. Now, there are various ways of making a slip knot. This is just how I do it. So I just put my hand out and I put the tail over the back. Okay. Then across the tail, just hold it securely there with my thumb. And then my working yarn, which is the yarn that's going to the big lot of yarn. I take that, take it over the back of my hand, okay, and then again just hold that secure there with my thumb. So I've got these two loops on my hand now and what I want to do is I want to gently just take that first loop that I made over to the tip of my hand, okay. Now if we were doing crochet we'd put the crochet hook in there but we're not, so I'm just going to put my hand in there because that's my crochet hook for this project, if you like. And we just want to pull that, okay, not too tight, okay. And we want you can see that there's the, the lovely smoothness of the merino, you want to try and keep that, okay. It's really delicate and it's really nice if you keep it really silky looking, okay. So we've got a bit of a work, um, a tail here, but that will be okay because we'll tuck it in at the end to secure it all together. Okay, right. Once you have got your slip knot on your hand, what we're going to do is I'm going to start at the top of my star and I'm going to work around this way. Okay, and this is where it's useful to have your yarn kind of above where you're working. So I've got mine just above there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire frame, okay, right? And I'm going to grab my yarn to pull it underneath, okay? So it's almost like I've got another loop here now, all right? Now I'm going to put those two loops on my hand there, okay? Now, once I've got my two loops on my hand, it's like doing a double crochet, if you were doing crochet with a hook. Then I'm going to grab the yarn, and then I'm just going to pull it through there. Okay, and then I've got my first stitch. All right, then that will be able to tuck there. And then we're going to keep repeating that. So with my left hand, I'm grabbing my yarn, bringing it underneath my star frame, I should say. Okay, so then grab those two. So I've got sort of like the two loops on my hand. And then 
I'm going to grab this yarn and I'm going to pull it through there. Okay, and you can see that's a stitch there. Okay, so I'm going to continue that. Now it depends on how big your star is, as to how many stitches you can fit on before you before you like turn the corner, if you like. So I think with this size star, because it's quite big, I'm going to do three. Okay, so there you go. And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to pull any of the fibres, I'm just going to smooth them down. Okay, because we want that nice, smooth, silky finish. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to turn my star. So I've got one, two, three on that side. Okay, now I'm going to grab my yarn underneath again, hold it in my right hand so I've got my two loops on my hand. Then I'm going to grab the working yarn and pull it through those two loops. Okay, so that's my fourth stitch. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that again, pull it underneath the, the frame. Okay, so I've got these two loops over my right hand and then I'm just going to grab the yarn and pull it through both of those loops. Okay, so what we are going to do is when we've done all of our stitches, it's like the chain part, this part here, will be on the outside of our star and then we'll see these nice stitches from the front. Okay, but we'll, we'll move that round when we've gone all the way around. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, one, two. So I'm going to do another one here. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my star. Again, how many you fit on each straight part of the star really does depend on the size of your star. Okay, so I'm just going to go. Pull it through. There we go. Now, so I'm just going to loosen my pile of yarn a bit so it's easy to pull through. Okay. And we're just going to carry on. Pull underneath. And then pull through. Pull underneath. So I'm going to go all the way around until we get to the first stitch that we made, which has got your, your tail yarn. So if you do that now, and I'll meet you when we're done. Okay, so I've got all the way around to the top where we started and I've got my tail end that I had and I've now got just the one loop left on my hand. So I'm going to make sure that I use the first stitch loop that we had and that one, the last one, and then I'm going to pull that through but then, because we're going to finish off here, I'm just going to take the end off the pile of yarn and then just pull that through. Okay, so now I've got two tail ends. All right, then what I'm going to do is, as I said before, we're going to just to turn it to make sure that the, like the Vs, like the stitches, like the chain, if you like, are on the outside of the star. There you go. Okay, so you've got that, the nice pattern of the stitches and then you've got the border of the chain. Okay, so just neaten that up for a little bit. 
smooth out any bits. If you have got like a bit of fluff that's that's coming off, you can just very carefully just pull it in the direction that the fibres go. Just pull it off. Okay, but just be very careful not to pull too much. Make sure that you've covered all of the wire. Okay, you can spend just a bit of time just neatening it up. Okay, and then, oh, I see a bit of wire there. If you can see too much wire, it might be because you've done your stitches a bit loose, in which case you can take it off and, uh, and tighten them up. Okay, that's better. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is turn this over. Okay, so I'm going to tie at the back just to make sure and then this bit's not too long so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave it in and out a few stitches at the back okay I don't really want to cut it because you get a blunt end when it's cut I just want to secure it in there and it will kind of felt together anyway now this is a bit of a long end so I'm just going to just take some excess off there and I'm going to do the same this side. Just weave it in so it all is hidden and tucked in there. That's it. That's just a bit there. And there you have your merino covered star okay just going to match just the bit so again just even that up and then you can attach that to the wall however you wish just with a, a larger picture hook or whatever you use okay so there you go there is your jumbo merino star wall hanging ideal for absolutely anywhere and if you want to make it a bit Christmassy you could always add a few of the little micro lights and just tuck them in okay as long as you've got the really low voltage ones and the little battery pack could just sit at the back Okay, right, well I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and if you fancy making your own, pop over to our website, you can order the kit. It's just a slightly smaller star that comes in the kit, which makes it more, more of an affordable craft to do. Click on subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.